get my lower story, fourth bedroom and man cave approved by council for human habitation rather than just having it listed as storage I need to seal the outside of my concrete block work with three coats of paint it's worth doing because having that full residential approval for the lower story dwellings will add to the value of the house and its saleability when the time comes for us to move on. To get a brush or a roller which you've got to work hard to get the paint to go in there's only one tool for this job and that's a $350 airless spray gun. It will eat this job and just blast the paint into the block work. But you have to be careful. The paint comes out with enough force to cut you and actually inject itself into your bloodstream and that can kill you. So you need to wear full protective clothing, especially thick gloves. Last week I saw the female host of one of those top rating house flip shows take the airless spray gun off her professional painter and use it without any protective clothing at all. I think she had a light blouse on, sleeveless blouse. And then she pointed the gun at her giggly co-host at point blank range and pretended like she was going to shoot her. Hello? Read the manufacturer's extreme danger warnings that are supposed to stay attached to the gun. And be aware of what you demonstrate to DIYers on international TV. The one thing you don't want with an airless spray gun is a leak with paint spurting out at high pressure all over the place. Ask me how I know this. Uh, to avoid that, start with just clean water instead of paint and that way you can see if there's any joints that need further tightening or you can seal any loose fittings with plumber's tape. I did all the internal painting on my house with one of these. All the ceilings in a three bedroom home in under 30 minutes. No ladders, no trestles, no neck pain, no stiff arms. Brilliant. To increase the ceiling and adhesion of my paint, I've been advised by professional painters to add Boncrete into the first coat.
job's finished, it's vital to clean your airless spray gun properly and get all the paint out of it. The easiest way to do that is to put your paint suction hose into a bucket of clean water. Put your gun into another bucket of clean water about that deep. Immerse the gun in it and jam the trigger, maybe with a bit of tape if you have to, and put a weight on the gun so that it can't jump out of the bucket and then turn your pump on and just leave that gun to suck the clean water up and spit it out underwater into the waste bucket and leave it go for about eight to ten minutes so that you've got about that much water gone through the gun and then take your gun out and do a test spray somewhere and see if it's just water and if it is your gun's thoroughly clean inside this handle there's a very fine filter you undo the handle and there it is I've already cleaned mine but when you've just used it this filter this fine wire filler will be furry with paint particles it'll look like it's covered in cloth you stick it in a bucket uh, of water wash it off put your filter back in place and screw the handle back on All ready for next time.